We begin with some bad news about the Indian economy, which has worsened after the second quarter GDP data for the current financial year has shown economic growth slipping to six-year low. The Q2 or the second quarter GDP has shown India's economic growth slowing down to 4.5 percentage. That's right, four and a half percentage in the July to September period compared to 7 percentage in the second quarter of last year and nearly 5 percentage in the last quarter. Now the biggest worrying factor in these numbers is the fact that the growth rate has dropped below the symbolically important 5 percentage mark. The slowdown in the GDP is the result of many factors including months of downbeat figures from plunging car sales to shrinking factory output. Another major factor is that Consumer demand and private investment have weakened and a global slowdown has hit exports hard. Meanwhile, the core sector output has contracted by 5.8 percentage in the month of October as the production of coal, power and cement has fallen steeply. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government uh, has taken several steps to boost investment and bolster economic growth, including cutting corporate taxes in September, while the Central Bank of India, the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, cut interest rates five times this year. But some surveys show that business confidence is at multi-year lows. And now we have our business correspondent, uh, Sumit Chaturvedi, joining us live for more. Sumit, talk to us. This is a double whammy yet again for the Indian economy. Not only is the GDP at an all-time low, uh, the core sector output, which is the amount of uh, industrial production that India does, has shrunk nearly 6%. Well, absolutely, uh, Krishna. It's uh, really a big thing for India because for the first time in many years, almost six years, we have come down to the psychologically important 5% mark. We have come below that. But that's a worrying factor because India needs uh, to grow fast, very fast. Remember the days when India was growing at 9% or 8% was a norm. Now it's 4.5%, which is really a big factor. So a global, some res uh, overall global factors are responsible for this as well. But in India, many things are happening. So far, when analysts say India has not been able to recover fully from demonetization and GST impact. That is one factor that has actually, in a way, impacted the economy a lot over the last few years. And since then, we have seen a downhill drive for many, uh, factor, for many sectors, including automobiles, exports, textiles, and code uh, sector data also came, which is also down. IAP is also at a very low level. So uh, keeping all that in mind, it's definitely not a good news for Indian economy going forward. But um, all eyes are now on the third quarter data because the Diwali festival season were falling in that uh, third quarter. Here's to keeping our fingers crossed for that third quarter data. But for now, uh, thank you so much for joining us with that update.